remember Orion Pi- Oh, hi everybody! Welcome to tonight's double feature. I know you're probably expecting Paul, but you're kind of stuck with your old Uncle Ron. And um, as you can probably tell by the title, we are going to be talking about two films tonight that really tug at the heartstrings. They're tragic love stories. Not in that people don't find love, but bad things people happen to the people who find love. So we're going to start everything off with arguably one of my favorite films of all time. Like, it's in my top five ever. And that is the um, Quentin Tarantino scribed, Tony Scott directed, True, stupid bring like true romance starring this man Christian Slater and this woman here Patricia Arquette. It's also a, a huge talent bomb, and I think I'm using that term correctly because it's got Christian Slater, it's got Patricia Arquette, it's got Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, um, Gary Oldman, Sam Jackson, Brad Pitt, Christopher Walken, um, Sal Rubinek, Bronson Pinchot. Uh, it's got uh, Tom Sizemore for crying out loud. It's got everything, and it's such an amazing film. And I remember watching Nightmare on Elm Street Part Three and getting a huge crush on Patricia Arquette when I was little. And then as I grew up, you know, things happen, and then all of a sudden I saw this movie. Stupid ring light. I saw this movie. And my love of Patricia Arquette was immediately reinvigorated. And I cannot talk enough about how uh, I think she's an amazing actress. I think she is gorgeous. Um, and Tony Scott's direction on this. It's one of those situations where you look at Tarantino's scripts and you wonder if he, that he just wrote. And you wonder if he could have done better than what was, our, what was done. Um, because I know there were issues with uh, his script to what actually happened with uh, Natural Born Killers. But this, this is uh, a beautiful thing. Uh, the special features on this particular Blu-ray, the director's cut, are uh, commentary by Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette, uh, commentary with the late Tony Scott, commentary by Quentin Tarantino, so uh, you have to be barefoot when you want to listen to that. Um, selective commentaries by Val Kilmer, Dennis Hopper, Brad Pitt, and Michael Rappaport, who I also forgot, is in this. Deleted extended scenes with optional commentary. Alternate ending with optional director and writer commentary. There's a 1993 featurette. Behind the scenes featurette and a theatrical trailer. This is jam-packed. And for the longest time, I only had this on um, VHS. And when I was at a mega media exchange in Milwaukee... I saw this jam-packed with all the goodness for a measly six bucks. So I grabbed it, and I love it, and I hold it tight, and I just want to squeeze it. Um, but I definitely suggest, if you have not seen this, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's about two people who fall in love under odd circumstances, uh, and then even odder things begin to happen. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's a very violent movie. It is Tarantino, so you have to have to deal with that if you're not a, a big fan of the violence. And let's move on um, to my second movie, which is about another set of people who meet and then are thrown into harrowing circumstances um, and with their fight for survival. And that is the... I've got to find out what year this is. That is the 1989... Miracle Mile, stupid ring light, Miracle Mile, uh, with Anthony Edwards and Mayor Winningham. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to say a lot, because it's something you need to experience. I hosted uh, a double feature of this a few months ago, and uh, everybody loved Miracle Mile. My brother liked it up to the ending, but he's, uh, yeah, yeah, um, it's, wow, it's just so good. And the soundtrack, uh, if I remember correctly, is done by Tangerine Dream. Yep, Tangerine Dream. And it's it's just, oh my God, it's so good. It is so good. This is right up there with True Romance um, in my top five, if not top ten of all time. Um, but yeah, Anthony Edwards, if you, 
he doesn't he's usually like a, a side character in everybody else's stuff but in this seeing him out front and just the way he reacts to all the news that's happening and everything going on and it's just and denise crosby's in this right around the time uh i think she left <laughs> star trek the next generation because that was a wise decision um it was written and directed by Steve Jan J DeJarnett, who, I might add, also directed another one of my favorite films. Not as high up as these two, uh, but pretty high up there. And it's the one film I've always said if I was offered the chance to direct a remake, I would. And that's Cherry 2000 with Melanie Griffith. Uh, I love that movie. It's just so fucked up. Um, with uh, Tim Thomerson and Melanie Griffith and uh, I think Lawrence Fishburne has a blink and you miss it cameo but this blu-ray is put out by the fine folks at kino lorber and it has uh audio commentary by the director uh not moderated by J walter chow chow or chow yeah chow uh audio commentary by the director the dp and the production designer which is important because the the it's not just the acting in this it's also the um, the, the, the miracle mile as you put, as you, you know, is, which is where it kind of takes place in, in Los Angeles is kind of its own character. So that's important. Um, excavations from the editing room, tar pits, there's deleted scenes, outtakes and bloopers, supporting cast and crew reunion, uh, Harry and Julie, an interview with Anthony Edwards and Mayor Winningham. I'm glad she got new hair. Uh, uh, and uh, alternate diamond ending, ending and trailers for Miracle Mile and Tr Cherry 2000. So definitely, uh, if you haven't, this is actually on Tubi. So you can go check that out. And uh, I hope you do, based on your old Uncle Ron's recommendation. So uh, this is the, this is tonight's double feature right here. Let's make sure we can see these. True. True Romance and Miracle Mile. Damn it. There we go. Um, be sure, if you haven't seen these, check them out on my recommendation. It's a great double feature because Miracle Mile is, only, is less than 90 minutes and uh, True Romance is 121. That's a little bit longer, but it is a Tarantino written script. So... Um, yeah, so thanks for watching tonight's double feature. I'm Uncle Ron. You can check me out at UncleRonsDriving.com or on social media at I'm Uncle Ron on Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, TikTok, um, Friend Talk, whatever else there is. I've got all sorts of stuff coming up. So uh, be sure to hop over there and check all that stuff out. I want to thank Paul for letting me guest host this week. I want to thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.